Minor Hotels is a very fast-growing hotel company. Uh, right now, we're at 155 room hotels, actually 156 hotels. Uh, we just bought another hotel yesterday, which uh, will be official in November, but we are consisting of five brands. And we start with our, our flagship brand, which is Anna and Tara. And Anna and Tara brand is known for being indigenous. It's bringing that local flavor and flair into the hotels with perfect hospitality, that award-winning Thai hospitality that we're very, very proud of. We have 39 Anatara hotels that range all over the world now. Um, I'm proud of our two latest that we opened up in uh, Portugal. It's our, actually it's one hotel, it's the first Anatara in Argov in Portugal, and that was rebranded from one of our Sibley hotels. So we're now branching out into the more European market. But we have most of our hotels are located in Thailand. We're also very, very fastly growing in the Middle East, Africa. We just opened a wonderful new hotel at Antara in the Oman. Um, and then I think we are seeing more growth more in the MEA region as well as that. But China also is another area. We have incredible hotels in the Maldives, Cambodia, Indonesia. And, and more. <laughs> it's now fun. these are all uh, how many stars? Five stars. Adam Terra is all five star hotels. And then we go to Avani Hotels. And Avani is our newest baby. Avani is six years old. And we have uh, 18 Avanis now and it's soon to be 19. And that it is one of our fastest growing brands. And Avani is a brand that is about home, home away from home. And we have our first flagship built with Avani Hotel in Riverside in Bangkok. And that's the Avani the Bangkok Riverside Hotel, which sits on the Chao Phraya River, actually in back of our Anantara uh, Hotel. We also have our Avani Hotel in Patti that we just rebranded. But Avani is also going into the Middle East. We are building an Avani in Maldives that should be open in 2019, if I'm correct. And um, we have Avani in Portugal and we're going to be putting some more to South America as well. Then we have Oaks, and Oaks is our Australian-based hotel brand, and that is more of our timeshare, our service departments, it's not timeshare, service departments. We have 56 of them, those hotels. We bought that brand in 2012. As we are growing that brand outside of Australia, we have also an Oaks in Bangkok, we have Oaks in the Middle East, and we're looking at Oaks in China as well. And then we have our Tivoli brand, and Tivoli's our, our newest brand. And Tivoli did consist of 14 hotels. We have rebranded two of those hotels in Portugal, so in Anatara and Avani. But we have two incredible Tivoli's in uh, Brazil, one in Sao Paulo and one in Salvador. And then the rest are actually in Lisbon and Portugal. And that is a brand that we're also looking to develop outside of Portugal and get more into the Middle East and even looking at some opportunities in Asia to grow Tivoli. We have a Tivoli hotel in Dubai, or in Doha as well. And then we leave with our fifth brand, which is El Moana. And El Moana is the African luxury uh, safari camps. And they're all, each and every one of the 14 El Moanas is very unique and very distinct and offers a very personalized stay. And they're amongst one of the most exclusive brands that we have. Wow, yeah. I'm impressed. Who owns Minor Hotel Group? Bill Heineke uh, owns Minor Hotels. Bill Heineke is an American um, who was born in Singapore and he was grown up in, uh, no, grew up, excuse me, in Thailand. He's been in Thailand since he was 16 years old. And I think what really makes him unique is the company is called Minor because at 16 when he started the company he tried to apply for a business license and he couldn't get it because he was a minor. And so all these years later, we are not just about hotels. We are very proud of our hotels, but we also have a food group, which in Thailand and other parts of Asia, we have we own Burger King, uh, the Brights Burger King, Swenson's Dairy Queen, Thai Express, uh, Bread Talk, and Pizza Company. We have our own pizza company called Pizza Company. And then we also have retail. Uh, we have yachts. We have two yachts, and then we have M jets, which is also uh, the, our, our, our jets that you can rent and uh, for private use. I gather some of the brands you mentioned are are owned; others you manage. 
We uh, no, all brands are all of our own. Wow. We actually own a majority of our hotels, but we also do manage our other other hotels. Bill likes to own his stuff. <laughs> he does like to own his stuff, but we also are proud of our brand. So we do have several management of, uh, agreements out there at our hotels. So we really don't look at how we own or manage because at the end of the day, it's any of our brands that has that flag on it. We want to make sure it maintains that. Uh, the service and the operational excellence that's known for. To what degree do you depend on the travel industry, travel agencies for your business? A, a huge degree. Mm. Uh, most of our hotels are in um, resort or vacation destinations. We do have city, city hotels. We have the Anantara CM, which is a business hotel, but also has tourism. But when you have a lot of hotels that are in vacation destinations, the travel industry is very, very important to us. And it's something that we're, we take very serious and that we continue to build on.